Oh, that was a successful trip. You already have that one. How nice are these? I feel like they look very French. It's been reviewed by Reese Witherspoon. This was like nine euros. Zara, just, you're, you're, you're not giving me anything. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to, I think this might be like a little daily vlog, maybe a two day vlog. I just wanted to pick up my camera. I had, I think I had the whole of last week off from vlogging and I've titled this video needing to refill my cup and I genuinely feel like that's exactly what I did. It's been possibly one of the most chaotically busy, beautiful years today, like August, I don't know how we're now in September, today is September 4th. It's such a beautiful week of weather in London and I feel like it's just really like lifted my spirits. I, always, I spoke to Zara recently about this. I see September still as like a start of a new year. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but naturally when you used to go back to school in September, I feel like it's a nice way to enter the burn months of September, October, November, December in just a new fresh start. So I, li I allowed myself last week uh, to just refill my cup. I saw some friends who I haven't saw in the longest time. I had a stag do, which is kind of like a bachelorette party if they're from the US. Um, so it was just so much fun last week, but I needed it. I really needed it. I feel my favorite phrase is that you cannot pour from an empty cup. And I think it's so true that when you just extinguish all of your energy and everything, which is good, it's lots of exciting things going on, but you just need to refill and do things that make you happy. So go for walks. I've been running a lot more, which always helps up here. I've been reading a lot more, which I'm gonna come on to. So yeah, feeling good. But how are you guys doing? Let me know how you are in the comments. I thought I'd start this vlog just with showing you some really nice things. So, but yeah, I thought I'd show you a couple of things that we got from Paris and some books that I've got. Let's start with books, because I know you love book recommendations. I've actually started a Goodreads now. You'll be pleased to know a lot of you guys ask the book recommendations. Zara has a Goodreads and I have started one now, so I've listed all of the books that I've read previously. So if you are were looking for any recommendations that I've read over the past couple of years, they will be on there now, so I'll link that down below. But I picked up two new books at the weekend. So I picked up The Paper Palace, and Zara's actually started this one, but this is The Housemaid's Secret. Both got really good reviews. Zara started this this morning, so I can't report on this, but I've seen a lot of people read The Paper Palace, and it's been reviewed by Reese Witherspoon, who I trust her reviews implicitly. Reese is such a fantastic actress, but also really good. Um, she got Reese's Book Club, which I love. She described this as a deeply emotional love story that follows one day in the life of Elle Bishop as she navigates the unraveling secrets, lies, and very complex love triangle. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And Zara started this this morning and said she's already hooked, so two good titles. I finished Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I know I featured this a lot in August. Guys, I didn't love it. I'm really sorry I didn't love it. There were a few quotes towards the end of the book that I actually um, highlighted and dog-eared, but I just... <sighs> I didn't really gel with the characters. I felt like it was quite chaotic, which I know was intended, but I think the hype of this online was actually better than the overall book. Let me know if you've read it and what you thought, but I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I just kind of thought it was a bit meh. Zara finished The Prison Doctor as well, which she honestly thoroughly recommends. It's quite a heavy, intense read, but a very informative and insightful look into the rehabilitation system for a doctor who is working in prisons. Um, I love the idea of learning about someone else's career as well, so I think this will definitely be on my to-read list for sure. She thought it was brilliant. After Cleopatra and Frankenstein, I read The Split, so I took this to Paris. I read this in about four days. Oh, that's the doorbell. Sorry, that was the postman. Oh, it had such good potential. This book was confusing to start, brilliant in the middle, and in the ending, I just thought, oh, it could have been so much better. But overall, I'd give it like a four out of five. Uh, it was quite gripping and a good page turner. Really short, quick chapters, like a page chapter. But the ending just, I don't know. Let me know if you've read this and what you thought. But 
again, I needed more from the ending. And then now I'm reading Shuggy Bean by Douglas Stewart. This has been on my read list for a very long time. I've got this in World of Books. And um, I think it's going to be a good read. A lot of people have reviewed this with a lot of fantastic words. Stephen Fry has said it's incredible. Lee Child, The Washington Post, The Times, The Independent all said it's phenomenal. So, yeah, really looking forward to reading this. So when I say I've been refilling my cup, this is how I refill my cup. <laughs> also, let me show you quickly what we got from Paris. So, from Maison de Monde, we actually got Maggie this little... <laughs> she's currently behind us. We picked her back up from Devon and uh, yeah, she's she's just sleeping so I don't want to disturb her. But this is Maggie's new feed mat. So it's kind of like a welcome mat material but it's got little dog bones on it. This was only six euros. Maison de Monde sadly don't post to England anymore so it's just a nice thing to be able to enjoy when you're in Europe. I did actually show these when we were in Paris but I'm still, do you know what, I actually I just love them so much. They put a little smile on my face. These little espresso cups. How nice are they? they? I feel like they look very French, but um, yeah, they say espresso served all day, plate go six salsalitas. So very, very cool little Parisian style espresso mugs. So we got two of those. I think they were £2.99 each, which I think is a very good price. And I just think they're awesome. They'd be quite nice on display. So yeah, that's everything we got in Paris. Um, I did get some clothing bits that I'll show you later on in the vlog. And last but not least, I feel like I have to feature this because it was a bit of a pinch me moment. So I love the film Bridesmaids and the director of Bridesmaids is called Paul Feig. Now, I think a lot of you guys in the US will know who Paul Feig is. This is him. This is the chap right here. He's a very dapper gent of them. And he loves a drink. <laughs> He's actually got his own gin called Art and Stores Gin. So I was very kindly sent a bottle. How beautiful is that? It looks like a little crystal decanter. Possibly the fanciest bottle of gin I think I've ever, ever owned. He actually has written a book called Cocktail Time, which features 125 classic and original drinks. Now, Paul Feig splits his time between the US and obviously he lives in London. And Zara and I actually sat next to him completely accidentally in a pub. We were having a Sunday roast with Maggie. And um, didn't he come up and say hello to Maggie? Mm. Yeah, he did, didn't he? I went to the loo. Paul Feig's gave Maggie a little, little scratch. But yeah, this is a really lovely book. I've actually made one of the cocktails out of here already, but it's beautifully written. There's some lovely little history pieces in here about each drink, how they were formed. And I really love at the start, it's kind of like the history of cocktails. And there's some really cool photographs from the 1920s, 1930s. It's just a very, very well written book. And yeah, I think it's great. So I'll leave that link down below. And I also got sent some cocktail glasses to make the cocktails in from the vintage list. Probably one of my favorite uh, glassware stores. These are two beautiful crystal champagne coupes. Or kind of more like martini coupes to be fair. Yeah, they're more martini. There we are. But they've got a gorgeous little detail on them. How beautiful are they? Very, very petite. A nice little two, three sipper, but I think they're stunning. So I'll link those down below because you can actually buy those along with Paul Feet's book and his gin. I just thought I'd share these because I feel very grateful. Whenever things like this come through the door, I just think, what a treat. So I actually need to do a food shop for the week. We've not got much on this week. It's a pretty chill one. So it's going to be really nice to have some lovely home cooked meals. Even if it is very warm, we're back to the summer meals. It got really cold in London. So we were doing things like bakes and we had a lasagna last night for dinner. And I was like, this is it, autumn's here. And then 30 degrees is back, so we're on, we're on the salad hype again. So I'm gonna do a food shop, so I'll take you guys along for that. And Maggie is back. She had a full two weeks in Devon. She's just so sleepy. Look at you. I'm just a sleepy little girl. Just a little snoozer. Oh, darling. So yeah, this is Maggie's position all day. I'm gonna take her to pets at home later too to get her a, um, I can't say the word, but I'll spell it a B-A-L-L. -L. She broke her last one and it's her favorite thing. Right, we are officially packed up in the car. I just drove to pets at home. Maggie, are we gonna go get you a new ball? <laughs> she got you a new ball. Let's unclip you then, let's unclip you. There we are, there we go, well done. We're also gonna get her some new treats and then I'm gonna walk and um, grab a coffee. Good girl. In you go. Good girl. She got you a ball, Maggie. <gasps> Let's get you a ball. Ooh. This is like her heaven. <laughs> Good girl, Mags. Which one would you like? You already have that one. <laughs> she got you a ball. How's that sound? These are good ones because these are rubberized. <gasps> How's that sound? You get a three pack for three pounds. That's not bad. Maggie. 
Maggie, what's this? Are you looking at all the fishies? Come on then. Let's see, what about these balls, Max? Max, what about these balls? What about these balls? You remember those? <laughs> Oh, that was a successful trip. So, <laughs> that pet's at home. They love Maggie, honestly, every time we go in. They're like, it's Maggie! <laughs> I think we keep them in business. Um, got some of her Lily's bedtime treats, because she bloody loves these. Don't you? And a pack of free balls. These are like the proper good, bouncy, indestructible balls for three pounds. Look, she's that excited. You want them, don't you? So we're gonna go and see Clapham now, have a little run around the field, and then I'm gonna go do some work in a coffee shop with Maggie. In the Susie sunshine, what a treat. Not to be that classic British person that always talks about the weather, but this feels like the weather we should have had two months ago. Good girl, Maggie. Just doing a little wee. <laughs> I know September does naturally lend itself to warmer weather, especially down south. But yeah, it's strange. It feels like the seasons are delayed. Everything was slower this year, which is, you know, it's fine. This is Clapham. This is Clapham Common, south side. And it's such a beautiful place to run. This is where I run in the morning. It's lovely. Magatha? Should we take you in the little park? Come on then. Good girl, this way. Ready? Three, two, one. Off you go. Come on. Good girl. The best three pound I could have ever spent. Go on then. <laughs> She's like a rocket. I'm back from the park and had to change into a vest. It's gone from being lovely and warm to plastic London temperatures, 30 degrees. Doesn't feel like 30 degrees, it feels like 50. Inner city heat, wild. I was gonna grab some lunch at the cafe I was working at, but as lovely as it is, it's like expensive and call me cheap, but if I've got lunch at home, I have lunch at home. And it's a privilege to be able to eat it. This was last night's dinner, so this is lasagna. It doesn't look appetizing, but um, I'm gonna have this heated up with some salad for lunch. Just trying to save the pennies, you know? Summer's been a very expensive month in terms of um, plans, so trying to rein it back in. That's gonna be lunch. And then I might just go and sit and read my book, just literally in our local park. It's only like a 10 minute walk from us, just to sit and read and just actually enjoy the day. I feel like this weather will go so soon and now work's a little bit more quiet after the rush of summer. I'm gonna just enjoy this time and not feel guilty about it. I feel like when you're online and you're in charge of your own content schedule, even though I can be as busy as I want to be, I do turn down a lot of opportunities because I don't feel like they're either right for me and it's a very, very fortunate position to be in. And But I wanna, you know, create that, things that I love and share brands that I trust. Yeah, so I've just kind of cleared the decks to start afresh for the rest of the year. So I'm just enjoying this little period of maybe like a week, two weeks where everything's kind of been submitted and done for summer before the madness of autumn winter. So I'm taking this as like a little mini break. <laughs> Tuesday and I wasn't sure whether oh hello Magatha coming up morning hello hey, good morning everyone it's so whenever I say the hello word she just assumes someone's in the flat so yesterday I feel like I had really good intentions with this vlog and then as the day got on it just got warmer and warmer I felt like my energy just went Bleh. so we literally went into the food shop and had a lovely quiche and salad watched a bit of Netflix and went to bed very early so it wasn't really fun to film. I realised I actually never showed you guys the clothing bits I got in Paris. I'll show you those today. 
And um, yeah, I've just been having a really chill morning. I've just been sat reading my book, which is so lovely. It's another absolutely gorgeous day in London today. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to head to the park and have some nice little sunshine. I went to the gym this morning, walked Maggie. I was really trying, as I said, to refill my cup the best way possible. I'm so grateful to have these days where you can just enjoy. I've been really enjoying listening to some um, Adele. So I was on TikTok and um, there was this little TikTok that had three unreleased Adele songs. Now, if you're a fan of Adele, I absolutely love her. I had the huge privilege of being able to see her in Wembley back in 2016. So seven years ago now and, oh, honestly, she was amazing. No, it was 2017. So six years ago. So I'm gonna list some of these unreleased songs. They're on albums that were um, special editions that were never released in mainstream. So you can't listen to them on anywhere other than YouTube. So if you like Adele, I'll link them down below. But there's this one called, But I Want To. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. It makes me realize that I love like folk music and um, country music. So maybe I'm American at heart. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I've just been sat reading Shooky Bean. This is gonna be an emotional one. I need to start researching books more because yeah, trigger warning, this is gonna be a real emotional ride. And I was not prepared for that. <laughs> After a little life, I was like, no more of that type of book. And I've gone and bought one. So I'll get through it, it will be fine, but maybe it'll be a slow burner. Maggie's just soaking up the morning sun rays coming through the window. Look at you, Mags. I know a lot of you followers are on Goodreads, but I've linked my account down below. So I've updated all of the books that I've ever read. Well, the ones that I can remember from memory since moving into this flat. My account will be linked down below so you can have a look, see my reviews, see my to read list as well if you want any recommendations of anything I've ever read. So it'd be a great way for you to, instead of having to scroll through videos, maybe you're going on holiday, maybe you're just having a bit of a relaxing month and you want some book recommendations, click the good read link and um, yeah, you can have a little look. So now I've got a mixed audience. This might not be for everyone, but I just thought I'd show you what I picked up in Paris. I'm kind of really liking relaxed, chill clothing at the minute. Nothing too bold. Stuff that I just wear every single year and not get bored of it. And I picked these up in a shop called Pull and Bear. We actually have one in London, but the one in Paris was so good. So I got this like green mint oversized t-shirt with like a drop shoulder. This was like nine euros, really good quality, nice and comfortable. And then I picked up these jeans, which are a little bit different. They were uh, 29.99. They were described as a carpenter style jean. But you could do like a little French tuck stitch at the front, just to, you know, smarten up a little bit. Um, but I really like these. I think they're quite cool with some trainers or some sandals. It's like a transitional outfit coming into the slightly cooler months, although <laughs> London is still on top form with the weather today. And then this t-shirt was the last thing in Paris. I got this in Urban Outfitters. It's a little Dickies t-shirt. I love Dickies clothing. The back is kind of hard to show, but it's got like a really cool print on it. It's like a vintage style print from a corn market. I thought it was just easier to show you the back of the t-shirt when I wasn't wearing it. So um, yeah, this is the print. It's from Fort Worth in Texas. I actually think I have a lovely lady who watches me. I think her name is Ivy. I read your comments all the time. Um, and you always sign off with Fort Worth in Texas. So um, I love that. I've got a little piece of Texas on my back. And then lastly, I actually saw a big oversized striped shirt in Paris in a store. And it was like 35 euros. And I thought, I can get that on Vinted. So I had a look on Vinted and I found this for two pounds. It's such lovely quality. It's like a French reverse style collar, 100% cotton for two pounds. Absolutely crazy. I actually had two pound credit on there as well from when I'd sold a t-shirt or something. So it was technically zero pounds. I just had to pay for delivery. How good is that? So definitely check out Vinted. I love this. You could obviously wear it like open with a vest underneath or you know, any, but it's just so nice. I just need to pop through the wash. Really, really pleased with it. Vinted is the one. And I also picked this up on Vinted as well. Take like a old school style Yankees cap. Um, yeah, I love a cap. Obviously I haven't really got much hair going on now, but I used to wear caps loads when I had longer hair just because they're easier to chuck on, but I still like a cap. Keeps the sun off your head, out your eyes. So yeah, really pleased with this. I think this was six pounds on Vinted. Vinted is the one. I actually have a bag that I need to um, have a look through. There's some bits I can take to the charity shop and there's some bits I'm gonna list on Vinted as well. Um, I will leave my account linked down below. It would just be UK shipping, unfortunately, but if you're a guy or if you're shopping for a guy, like your boyfriend, partner, whatever, son, cousin, <laughs> um, there'll be some bits on there so you can have a little look. So it's 
been a few hours and I've just been sat in the park. The weather is absolutely glorious. I feel like had we not have had such a rubbish summer in England, then you wouldn't really take every ounce of the sun and just enjoy it. But honestly, for summers on record, it's been pretty naff. So this is lovely. It's just a very nice evening. We're gonna go back and um, make some dinner. I don't know what we're fancying, but maybe some pasta. Okay, we're back from the park and making a start on dinner this evening, which we are actually cooking. <laughs> so we're gonna do a pasta. I've already got some pasta on the stove, just cooking away, so rigatoni. Got some lovely chestnut mushrooms here and some peas. We're gonna do that with an onion, some lemon juice and zest, some rocket, creme fraiche, mustard and truffle. It's gonna be a really nice, light, fresh pasta. dinner is served this is honestly the amount of times I've made like iterations of this absolutely delicious and there's still loads left over as well the truffle oil is actually from Italy and it is so good you only need a little bit but it goes a long way I'm just gonna finish mine off with some crispy fried onions on top just for a bit of texture how are the onions on top is it nice mm -hmm. there we are look at that Del hi all I've been at work now for the main event now we are going to do some yoga I'm about to rope Luke into his sighing beside me. We've just had dinner. Yeah. I'm about to rope Luke into 10 different yoga positions that you have to do together. Oh my good lord, 10. 10. 10. It looks like I'm going to be lifted a lot. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Should I get the yoga mat? I would like to preface that we are doing this to kill time before the NT is because Ewan is up for a nomination. Can you tell everyone about that? Ewan is up for a nomination for the NTAs. Um, but it's not just Ewan, it's the whole team that sort, your life, sort your life out. With all of the gang, so good luck to Ewan. We will know in the next few hours. Maggie, but in the meantime, to do some yoga? we're going to do some yoga. Maggie? Maggie looks absolutely petrified because last time I was at height, I fell. Are you joking me? I'm just making my yoga. And we're going to do that, are we? Actually, oh. that one seems quite easy. Okay, this first one <coughs> actually might be the first and last. This is the goal. That's doable. <laughs> so, like, if I do this, <laughs> here, put all of your weight here, 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 and one foot. <laughs> oh, it's my vagina! It's my vagina! It's my vagina! Oh, I don't like that. Because I can bench press you like that. It is the most strange Do you feeling. want to try it? No. No, i tell you what, actually, I've got a better idea. Okay. I've got a better idea. Move. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Sit on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Next. Okay, this one we can do. So we hold hands and our legs go up in a V. <laughs> Your abdominal strength is lacking. Um. I'm going to have to pull you up. Okay. Give me another leg then. I'm pulling you up. Yeah. Oh my god! Wee! <laughs> ah, your rings are hurting my fingers. We can do that. Okay. Who's gonna do what? Okay, so someone yeah. sits flat. Yeah, fine. I think that should be you. Me, sorry. I'm gonna stitch okay. you up. Right, so then you need to push yourself <laughs> up fully. You do not go <laughs> forward. Whatever you do, do not go forward. Okay, you ready? You could sell this for good money. I'm sure I could. <laughs> and then I lift you up. <laughs> <laughs> Your legs won't bend that way though. It's supposed to be the way around. What do you mean my legs won't bend? They're not meant to bend. Are they not? <laughs> but I'm too tall. And that's not correct. Um, You're meant to hold me and I'm just meant to... Oh, I see. Okay, Your legs aren't then. meant to be bent. Oh, oh, right, sit down. I'm meant to be on your feet like this. Right. So I think what we should do is start like this. Yes. You put my feet up. Yeah. Oh! And then I go onto your ankle. Come right. on then. <laughs> Quick. Ah! Up, 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 up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, next one. 
I don't know if you missed the part where it's a press up. What? Oh my god. Have we done it? Yeah. We've done uh, Maggie! <laughs> Where are you done? Maggie! <laughs> Maggie! <laughs> Maggie! <laughs> I know it's very stressful. Did you see that? No. Funny enough, because the dog was in the way. Not this, the next one. Uh. Did you, it's a quick image, you see. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Mm. So you just hold me by your feet? Yeah, I can still do that. Right, let's make this the last one, because I genuinely think this will be We've only got five more. Oh, yeah. this makes me feel very uncomfortable. But you need to have calls, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're just watching the National Television Awards. We've just seen Ewan with um, Stacey and Dilly and Rob, so they're um, ready to be, uh, let's have their award announced, whether they win or not, who knows, but I really hope they do. I did vote, and um, I've just made a little nighttime tea, and so, yeah, we're gonna be watching this up until their category, because I don't know when theirs is gonna be announced, but some great, you know what, it makes me proud to be British. We have some really good TV in this country. And Maggie is fast asleep, it's much too late. Look at her. Okay, so we just finished up watching the end here. Sort Your Life Out didn't win, but it was a incredibly beautiful category and Paul O'Grady for The Love of Dogs won. And obviously we sadly lost Paul this year, one of the best TV personalities there was. And obviously for The Love of Dogs, it's an incredible show. Really close to our hearts as well with Batsy Dogs Home just being down the road. So I'm sure Ewan agrees that uh, it went to a very deserving person, but they're all amazing. Um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been such a lovely one, um, full of a bit of everything really, but I will link everything featured down below as always. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love to you all. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.